Oh, chucking it down outside. Lousy, grey, wet and windy. Right, there's some shopping to be done. So, the sun came out for a little while, we just turn that off, because otherwise you just end up listening to the fans blowing. So yeah, the sun came out for a bit and it's sort of going back in and it's, ugh, can't make its mind up, but yeah, it was chucking it down earlier. Uh, so that's my shopping done. What's that? Oh, it's alright, it's just just a notification telling me that uh, it's just the wallet notification for Tesco because I paid with Apple Pay that so. So, <clears throat> what's been going on in Bob's world? So yeah, something that really uh, irked me was um, Right, there's been an update. Now, I don't think the update caused it, to be honest, but it could have done. But of course, you know, you never know, do you? But basically what happened was I play uh, Mortal Kombat Mobile. You know, Mortal Kombat X on the mobile. And I've had a lot of uh, extra things in there at the minute where you can um, win certain characters and stuff like that. And I've been getting them all and what have you. So like I had, I had the full three of Triborg. One of them was nearly up to a full level 50. Um, all sorts like that. Um, there's a, I know there's a new Katana coming and stuff like that. But I had them and uh, the new uh, Ermac and stuff like that. And what happened was uh, I went to update now you get a WB account, they urge you to get one to keep it updated so that you don't lose your um, your progress, basically. And basically, it took an old update and overwrote uh, my, my full gameplay. Um, and that's it, I can't get it back. So it's like nearly a year's worth of work on Mortal Kombat. And I've contacted them and you just get the, the, the standard message back. Uh, you know, I mean, you fill in an online form, tell them what OS you're using, uh, whether it's fully updated, you know, which exact version, and have you updated the app, and blah, blah, blah. And they come back and they say, well, were you logged into the right WB account? Well, yes, it's the only bloody one I've got. But, to be honest, I just couldn't be asked. I just thought, you know what, forget it. So, I've sort of continued play, but obviously it's like way back from before I really sort of, you know, got this far on. Uh, I mean, it goes a long way back. I've lost so much. It's like, like I say, it's about a year's worth of work on it. And, you know, I played it pretty much for half an hour to an hour every single night as a bit of stress relief, you know, just kick some ass basically. <laughs> desktop and had a look on my account there and there's just no recollection of it at all it's all just white so and I just can't be bothered you would have thought they'd gone and had a look you know when you consider that they can ban a player for cheating 
yet they can't just look at my account and say, oh yeah, sorry about that, and I don't know, give you some credits, give you some souls to buy players with, or whatever. You know, you would have thought they could do something. And that you just get that stupid standard reply, and I just couldn't be bothered with it. I just thought, you know what, it's just a game, forget it. So, whether I'll continue to play it or not, or whether I'll just delete the app, I don't know. So, you know, it's, it, it just, you get annoyed about it, don't you? Every time you go back in and have a play, you just think, oh God, you know, and you're coming up against uh, all these characters that you had, and now you haven't. And the only chance of getting them now is basically by luck. Uh, you know, when you buy a character pack or something like that. And it's a bit annoying that really, because it's like they've got these new um, diamond characters, you know, over the top of the gold ones that are supposed to be much more powerful and everything. And to get one, you have to spend like uh, so many hundred souls or whatever it is, which of course is like the, uh, you know, so it's a bit like the, the high end currency for the game is souls. Um, you know, and you win them along the way. Now I've never paid for anything on that game. Obviously you can pay silly money to get players, like £14.99 to get a um, you know, to get a new character that's coming or something like that whereas I usually win them in the challenges but the rest of the time you've got to get it by luck uh, so you you would go to this pack and say, you know, uh, the diamond character but when you read the small print it's actually with a chance of getting one or you could just get uh, previous uh, characters that have uh, been up to win. So that's rather annoying and you usually find out what it happens is it gives you one that you've already got and you spend 300 souls, which trust me, takes a lot of time to actually earn those souls. Either that or you have to go and buy them in lots and you, you, know, you might be paying sort of like eight, nine, ten quid for a set of souls. And, you know, I mean, it's just how they hook you, isn't it? To hook you into spending money. But anyway, that's all done now. So, had the grandson uh, yesterday, night before, uh, yeah, Friday night. And uh, all was uh, good there. Had a, an okay evening with him. We had a pizza. And, uh, yeah, not a lot else has been happening. I mean, I had the week off. Uh, sort of procrastinated a lot really during that week. Uh, didn't do a great deal, just a few bits and pieces. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, so yeah, I didn't get a great deal done. The weather actually looks a little bit nicer here in my village than it does in the town. Clouds are certainly moving some today though. <laughs> especially get them some carrot out because they were whining at me for carrot and I'm not cooking carrot today. Talk about spoiled, eh? But um, <clears throat> yeah, there was something else I wanted to uh, run by you actually. No. I mean, it happens a fair bit. I've had it before. But what's strange this time is, I'll tell you what it is, it's uh, Amazon. When you get something from Amazon and what it is, it's actually one of my granddaughter's birthday presents. She uh, just turned 12 on uh, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, <laughs> I think it was anyway, I can't remember, but um, so we had like a tea party here and what have you, no, I can't remember what day it was, but um, anyway, so I had this present come in that had been gotten from Amazon and you know, you can follow, you can track the shipping, can't you? And it was supposed to turn up uh, yesterday, Saturday. And um, basically it didn't turn up and eventually we get uh, a check me tracking and um, even today it still says it's due yesterday, which normally they've changed the tracking details by now and they haven't, so 
I mean, yeah, you can go and complain about it, but at the end of the day, the wrong person's going to get it in the ear, aren't they? They'll, they'll just pass it on to the company, and at the end of the day, Amazon were responsible for the shipping because it's come direct from them. So, you know, and then they'll tell the company off when actually it was them that shipped it. So it's the carrier's fault at the end of the day because I know what they're like. I've dealt with carriers a lot and they just lie. They tell you that, oh, you must should have found a card. No, there was no card. You know, they, they just make stuff up all the time. They're horrible to deal with. So that I'm hoping will turn up tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I would have thought. And I've got another product coming in for review as well. I've still got some more stuff to review that's already here, actually. But another set of uh, plug-in earphones coming next. Uh, just like a, a budget set. So hopefully they'll uh, come up to the mark. <laughs> I mean, normally somebody was asking me how I sort of, um, you know, how I test them, bass and stuff like that. And basically it's just as many different genres of music as possible. There you go, they're at it again. And, you know, you pick certain ones to hammer certain elements of a set of speakers or earphones or whatever, you know. Um, and usually I try and, the first thing I do is I try and wallop them with the bass and turn them up loud basically. And obviously if I can damage a diaphragm then, you know, that tells you guys if you like your music loud, they're not gonna be for you. Pepper, one second. Sailor in there. You gonna say hello? Red? Pepper? No? No more whimpering at me then. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you know, I hit them hard with the bass to start with and then, uh, then I go at the other end and find out sort of like how they feel the treble. And then I just play around and, you know, sort of like find where they sit best basically. Uh, you know, and I, I do that, you know, I, I, I keep doing bits of that over the course of sort of like, you know, a week, maybe two weeks, you know. I mean, obviously I'm not wearing them all the time, but, you know, I do spend quite a lot of time with them, you know, because I want to get things right. So anyway, I'm having uh, gammon today. Gammon and chips, fritters, <laughs> scallops as we call them. You know what I mean, them. Sliced potato, <laughs> about a quarter of an inch thick thereabouts. So yeah, we're having them with a, a boiled gammon that's on boil now, although I'll, it'll get finished in the oven just to stop it from looking too anemic. Uh, and possibly some fried eggs. So the wife just fancied a change, so uh, you know, no Yorkshire's or cooked dinner today anyway. And that's why the dogs were getting upset that they weren't getting any carrots. I had to get one out of the fridge, especially to cut them, cut it up for them. Yeah, I spoiled the Yorkies. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think this. Actually, I've got a drink to make, actually, for uh, me and the wife. I forgot. <laughs> Too busy thinking about you guys. So, um, He's looking at me like I've lost the bloody plot. He really is. What's up, Fred? <laughs> oh dear. He's just gone off to get his uh, toy. That's that's why he's gone running through there. He's going to come back with uh, one of his chew toys or something like that, if he can find it. And she's just whining for the hell of it. It's coming up close to the tea time, maybe that's what it is. But uh, anyway, I'll be back in a bit. So, Mr. Cooper, are you getting in the itch to uh, update? <laughs> or upgrade, should I say? Uh, sounded like you might be in that uh, last vlog of yours. Um, mine batteries starting to get even worse now um, but I still do not want to upgrade the phone really um, the deals just don't cut it for what you're getting in my opinion 
But of course, because I'm in the whole ecosystem of iOS and uh, Mac, then it's going to be easier to stick with it. And I do prefer the Mac side of things, especially. Um, so I'm thinking I might just put a new battery in this 6 Plus, to be honest, guys. It, um, it just makes a bit more sense uh, money wise really because I mean you can get a battery for you know and a good one for I mean it won't be genuine uh, original part but you can pick them up for sort of like 30 40 quid you know off eBay a good one so I might just uh, hold out and just wait until it gets really bad and do that I don't know where that is I think it's just over the roof liner, that's why I can't see it. What's up Fred? You're back again. Come here, you've had your tea. You're just waiting for treats now, aren't you? Aren't you? Waiting for treats. Aren't you? Yes, that's Pepper coming out. You are a murder. I see. Jealousy now, is it? Yes, that was the neighbour's dog barking, wasn't it? <laughs> Yes, I know. So, um, anyway, I've got to keep an eye on my, uh, got to keep an eye on my scallops. <laughs> the end of another vlog pretty much. It's uh, quarter to seven now. I've just got a bit more cleaning up to do in here yet. I've got my cooker to wipe down and a few more pots to wash. And then I'm done. Uh, I've just done my last trip out to Driffield. Uh, thought I heard someone come in then. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I just uh, saw a tweet this morning actually, and I tweeted him back. I finally just uh, got an answer back, but uh, I'm no sort of the wiser. But uh, see, Piravs uh, had. Um, copyright trolls on his videos have monetized one of his videos it's most annoying when that happens uh, I feel for him it's, it's frustrating more than anything else because sometimes it's like banging your head against a brick wall and it doesn't matter what you do you can't stop it um, and it's just so annoying you know they, they're just trolling basically who oh, is using our music or you know, he's used a bit of footage or it could be anything, you know, you could have just filmed in a place that upset somebody and they can monetize your pin video. It does my head in. Um, he doesn't deserve it. You know, nobody deserves it. It's not like we're making a fortune out of uh, doing YouTube videos, is it? Like, you know, you, you do it for the fun and what have you, but and that, it's just, you know, that little bit of money you get from it, it's just a nice little kick to help, you know, keep the channel going, update your equipment and stuff like that, you know, replace broken equipment more than anything else, you know. Um, you know, it, it'd always be nice to see your channel sort of take off and, you know, make you enough money to buy a new camera or stuff like that, you know. It's, it, I mean, it slowly does mount up to where you can do things like that, it just takes a lot of time, you know, and a lot of effort. And the thing is, these people don't really care what effort you've put in. So, you know. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, there was that video went out on the tech channel of those uh, headphones. They were expensive. Uh, I mean, when I first packed that up, they were just under £100 on the UK site. But uh, America got them for about $60, $70, something like that. They got them a lot cheaper than we did. But then I noticed after my video went up, I don't know whether that made them, that sort of spurred them to look at pricing or what, uh, you know, they said, oh yeah, we've seen your video, it's uh, done a great job, thank you very much, sort of thing. Um, and then uh, when I checked the link back, because uh, I had a comment underneath and I checked the link back because I couldn't believe it when they said in the comment about them only being, was it 60 odd pounds or something like that? I thought, oh, okay, so I checked and yeah, they cut the price, so I don't know whether that was the firm did it because of my video or whether it was just a case of they were due to cut it anyway, I couldn't tell you. 
So, ah, oh, I keep getting notifications through at the minute, it's doing my head in. So, um, <coughs> but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I can't think of uh, anything else. I'm back at work this coming week. Uh, you know, like I say, this week I haven't really done anything. I've uh, done a little bit of helping with the wife's care and stuff like that. But other than that, just not a lot. Uh, just sort of, I think it's the changing weather. Uh, winter blues. I think, uh, I mean, you know, they, they, they talked about it for years about whether it was a genuine sort of illness or anything like that. I don't think it's more such an illness. I think it's just a case of that's the way people start to feel as the, as the weather gets, you know, as the weather turns. You know, uh, at the end of the day, we we get um, is it vitamin D from sunlight, don't we? Which is like a, a feel-good thing, you know. And when that starts to cut back, obviously we start to feel a bit depressed, you know. Um, I think we all suffer from it to a certain degree, and it's just some can overcome it more easily than others, you know. So. In fact, shall I call it this video that winter blues? <laughs> it's coming along, isn't it? The winter. It's uh, the nights are certainly getting chillier. So uh, make sure you wrap up warm, guys. Especially you lot in the UK. Although I don't know whether America's still getting it a bit chilly now or not. I couldn't tell you, but uh, I'm sure I'll get some comments underneath. So uh, anyway, do take care of yourselves, guys. Have a good week and uh, I'll see you next weekend. Cheers guys, see you.